Okay, Sam, welcome to Edinburgh on this nice sunny day and um, thank you for coming with some of your colleagues to talk about uh, the situation in Japan and in particular the um, situation to do with ethical investing, um, ESG investing in, in, in Japan with your company. Uh, and we're delighted to have you here and we're very interested to, to hear what you had to say. I wonder if for those who will be watching this short film, if you could highlight the main points that you think are so important for people here to understand in terms of your approach. Well, thank you very much for inviting me to, uh, to have me at the ASI conference today. And my, my agenda to, uh, I discussed today is about the sustainable financing and how the, yes. the financial institutions will be able to contribute to the investment as well for the economic wise. And yeah. I think that is the key message and probably the financial agency has to transform itself towards more on the sustainable investment and so finance. Yes. And having more positive impact on the on the not only the actual returns but also for the for the economy and for the society as as a whole. Mm -hmm. And that is the purpose of the the sustainable finance as well as the responsibilities of financial institutions in, in the future. And and f and the f institutions that are able to do so will be, will be sustainable. Yeah, yeah. And this is in line with achieving the millennial goals yes. as well, isn't it? It is. Is it, is this a a trend that you see increasing? I think that's a. We feel this is a sort of global sort of agenda or yes. global trend. Okay. It's happening, uh, not only in, in Japan but also here in the UK or in, yeah. in the States, a global world. Mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. and, and there is a the principles of of sort of community, mm. and these principles mm. Mm. are laid out mm. in a way that mm. these, these, these has, has a demand from the public society and the pub, from the public as a public needs. And do you see um, any change in the US attitude towards the achievements of sustainable goals uh, recently or, or not when you deal with other uh, American institutions, for example, many of whom are represented here in Scotland? Mm. Yes, and, but, um, from the general long term sort of trend of the consensus, I mean, when you look at the um, the numbers, um, signatures of the signature number of signatories yes. at PRI, for example, yes. there has been signatures from North America or Europe or other parts of the world, and this is it's increasing. Yeah. There's no uh, sort of um, disruption to those num yeah. growth of numbers. So therefore, yeah. I don't see any sort of sudden change of of trends, so to speak, in, in that kind of direction. Yeah, so you're optimistic about the way in which it's going. Yes, and I'm, I'm relatively optimistic. I'm optimist, op optimist by nature. So. You are not, well, which one needs to be nowadays. Yes. One, of the, one of the questions that I had asked you earlier on, um, and it may be difficult to answer, is whether you detect, for example, in the university sector, mm -hmm. uh, a change in attitudes towards the sort of investments mm -hmm. that their substantial mm -hmm. funds make. Uh, as we have seen in America, I think yeah. starting in California, and then here also in Scotland. So uh, an aversion to investing in companies that are dealing in fossil fuels, mm -hmm. for example. Is that beginning to happen in Japan, or do you think it will Not happen? so much on, on the fossil fuel mm -hmm. agenda itself, but if, whenever there's any um, issues or problems yeah. against so antisocial behaviour, yes. or the labour or some situation... Or human rights. Human rights, or, those situations... Um, when they, I think there's a um, more public outcry over them, then there will be a, some reaction from that. Yes, so, yes. and I think there's there there will, there will be more voices be, should be heard. Yes, yes. And and I think there's um, in Japan also. I mean, if when the the society is more open. Yes. Um, yes. Driven by the technology, for example, maybe. Yes. yes. Uh, I think these voices will be more. Yes. Yeah, heard yeah. uh, if, if, if not if not oppressed by some authority or not so I think the free speech is a very important factor mm -hmm. in the in the areas of sustainable finance or the ESG investment as well yes, so. yes. well we'll talk about some of those things in the panel discussion mm -hmm. later yes. today but uh, as you probably judged from the questions you were asked yes. there's a lot of interest in the area that you are an expert in and thank you for sharing your thoughts with us well, thank you very much thank you very much thank indeed. you thank you thank you, thank you.